Hey everyone, it's Ann here and it's Monday night and I am so excited to be with you tonight. I have some exciting new things to show you and we're doing some mystery stamping because I know you guys all love that. So I am just chat popping on a few minutes early and giving my a chance for you guys to catch up and to Facebook to let you know that I've gone live. So in the meantime, I'm just going to chat and if you pop on, say hi and let me know you're here. So hello, my name is Ann Granger. I'm an independent demonstrator here in Canada and I love my Monday night crafting with you. I look so forward to it. Can you believe this? We're on number 19. We have been doing this for 19 weeks. I'm so ecstatic. I cannot, like it's just so exciting. Uh, so I'm an independent demonstrator here in Canada and I, like I said, I just, I'm so excited. I have some fun stuff to show you tonight. Each Monday at 7, you will find me going live here in my Facebook group. The reason why I go live in my Facebook group is because I want to create a community. I want my people to get to know each other, talk and chat. We're on a page. It's all about algorithms, and sometimes it doesn't always catch you if you're not on at the right time. If you're joining me, say hello. Let me know where you're from. If you're watching on the replay, let me know where you're from. Especially if you're watching it from my blog or my YouTube channel, let me know. Make sure you're liking and giving me hearts on Facebook and that you're liking it on YouTube because that's what they like to see. Obviously, you can find me on my blog, which is www.stampwithann, and I'm on all social medias, and then you can follow me there through Stamp With Ann. Um, you will find this video. It will be posted to my blog. Um, and my goal of my blog is to try to post about three to four times a week and I always upload my videos to YouTube. So if you're not following me on YouTube, make sure you do because that's where you will see these videos on a replay. Um, as I said earlier, please like and comment and share because that is what we all like to see and that's what Facebook likes to see. And don't forget to invite your friends. Tell them about our group. Tell them what we're doing on Monday nights and they might want to join, especially right now here in Canada. We are hitting uh, we're in Ontario and we're hitting a third wave we're back to lockdown we're at stay-at-home orders and it's just it's not fun it is not fun at all and we all need to lift each other up and crafting and getting together is the way we're going to get through this so as I said I have some fun exciting things for you tonight so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my camera so that I can show you what I have to share with you and then we're gonna pop on to the project so let me flip the camera and I'll be right with you. All right, if you can, oops, I forgot to turn on some lights. Let me know um, if you can see me and you can see my table, that would be great. I'm gonna move over my iPad. And just let me know what you guys see. If you can hear me, give me some thumbs up. That would be great. All right, so before we get started, I do have some things to share with you. So first of all, I wanna tell you about my April Hostess code, which is right here. So with the month of April, if you spend $50, you will earn one of these. These are new gems from the um, new annual catalog which starts in May and they belong to the hand pen suite. So look at those, like they are just beautiful. I believe this is, okay, so I did a Facebook Live on Friday revealing my new products and I was calling the color Sweet Succulent because that's what it should be called, but it's actually Soft Succulent. So I believe this is Soft Succulent and this is um, Pale Papaya, which is a really nice color. So those you will earn for free. I will ship those out to you. I'll order them in May and then I will ship them out once they become, once they come into the house. So the other thing I wanted to share with you is if you're on my newsletter, you would have received an email this afternoon regarding my In Color Club. Um, so it'll be from May to September, so it's five months long. And what you're gonna do is I'm gonna help you build your In Color collection. Because to order all the stuff at once, it's a lot of money. And right now, we should be budgeting and taking care of ourselves. <laughs> So I thought, of course, the five new in colors are Fresh Fesia, Polished Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. And with my in color club, each month you will get a pack of cardstock, one bolt of ribbon, an ink pad, an ink refill, a stamp and write marker, 20 in color jewels, two stamp and blends, eight of the 6x6 DSP pieces, two of the 6x6 in color volume, four ombre gift bags, and a hand stamp card from me featuring the color of your month. 
So just think, it'll be like Christmas from May to September as you open up your packages each month. Um, it'll be $79. If you want to do porch pickup and if I need to ship to you anywhere here in Canada, it will be $15. If you are interested in my club, let me know by May 1st. I will bill you on the first of every month and you can just send me an EMT to my, um, my, to my account. So I hope you will join us. It'll be a fun. I'm going to sit down and create some in color cards on the weekend. I just didn't get a chance this weekend, but I wanted to get that out to share with you. The other thing I want to share with you is our new annual catalog. So this new annual catalog goes live on May 4th. So if you do not have a demonstrator here in Canada and you are looking for one, I would love to help you out. Pop me a message. Um, and I will pop one of these in the mail. I took my first batch to the mail today to the post office today She said mail in here in Ontario is really slow She's saying to give it about a week to a week and a half So hopefully your catalogs will come sooner than that But you will have some happy mail coming your way if you've ordered with me in the last past six months You are on that list um, And don't forget. I just want to remind you about the last chance list the last chance list is you have till May 3rd to purchase all of those items that are leaving us and there's some really great deals some of them are 75% off so make sure you check out those deals because you don't want to miss out and here's the thing if you like what I'm showing you tonight and you can't wait to May 4th did you know you can join my team and add those to your starter kit if you're interested and you want to join let me know we would love to have you on our stamp to create team we are a great bunch and my team is awesome they are so fun um, and they are like family to me. So we would love to have you on our team. All right, so let's get started. So we are doing some mystery stamping today and I am sharing with you some new product because I wanted to show what is coming up and exciting and I actually had a chance to play with it last night. So I was pretty excited and I thought this would make a great Facebook Live. So let me just move some stuff out of my way. All right, so for the paper or for our card, you needed a piece of paper that was four and a quarter by nine, scored at five and a half. This is that new soft succulent paper. You needed a piece of paper that was two by eight and a half, and you're gonna score it at two and one eighths on one end, and then on the other end, you're gonna score it at two and one eighths. Oh my gosh, look at this pretty. This is the pansy paper. How sweet is that? So the new pansy paper you're going to, or whatever paper you're using, but I'm using the new pansy one, is three and a quarter by four. I am also using the other side of this, oh, this is another pattern in the, um, the uh, pansy paper. And these ones are one and seven eighth by one and three quarter, and you need to have two pieces of the DSP. I am using the Stitch So Sweetly. You know this is one of my favorite dies and I'm so ecstatic that it is carrying over. I am using the second largest die, but you can use any die that you can layer. You want to be able to layer. And then I'm using a piece of white to go in my Stitch So Sweetly and it is two and a quarter by three and three eighths. And I will post all of these measurements on the, um, when I do it. So first of all, let's share with you some new product. So I am using, um, don't mind that, I haven't labeled my thing yet. So I am using the new Pansy Patch Bundle. So here is the stamp set and here are the dies. So very nice. It is a photopalmer, so look at the way our new stamp sets come. They actually come with the images printed on the case. So how exciting is that? It is a photo palmer, it is a two-step. As you can have a look at mine are well. I just got this on Friday and look at they're well loved already. So it has a great set, so some stamping, and then it also comes with matching dies, and you're gonna want the dies. Um, this die and this die actually cuts out some images from the DSP. And these, so these are the pansy, and then these two are leaf dies, and they actually cut out. The leaf things also ignore my um, label up here I haven't had a chance to relabel it with the new um, thing so that's what that is so what I wanted to share with you before we get started was I actually did some stamping on the weekend with this because when I first sat down to create with this set I was like how in the heck do I create that so I have to tell you a little story on 
Friday, my youngest daughter and I, she wanted to go to a local garden center here in where we live. It's called Hemans. And we went for a little drive and she wanted to get a couple flowers. And I went to scope out the pansies to look for some pansy inspiration for colors. And I took a really cool picture and I will be sharing it, but I wanted to share with you some inspiration that I found from looking at the pansies. So first of all, I wanna show you what you can do with the pansies. So I played around with this on Saturday night and I created a whole bunch of colors showcasing the different color combinations you can do with the pansies. So in order of the way they're stamped is the way that I've listed those or um, colors. So this actually, I made a mistake here. It should be black, but I don't want to cross it out and ruin my pretty design. I will be taking a picture of this and I will include it with the blog post. So just cause gives you different. I went from my purples to my pinks to some blues and I didn't even like surface the yellows. Like honestly, it's addicting. Like you just kept going and going and I kept trying and trying and like new color combinations. So that is what I created. And I created a little one too because I was trying out some color combinations before I actually put them onto my big one. I wanted to make sure I liked the colors um, before I did that. So this one is actually my favorite. It's like the Fresh Fija and Blackberry. And this one too, it's Balmy Blue and Midnight. And this one is Pale Papaya and Clips of Coral. So really cool on different combinations. And I think I saw your aunt Andrea, Andrea, you're right. The combinations for this are unreal. So then what I did was I actually created a little image to show me what I needed to stamp. And I'm going to leave that out for when we are actually stamping my pansies tonight so you can see the process of what you need. So these are the five stamps you need to get an image like this. And I will bring this back in and share with you when I'm ready to stamp. But I also wanted to show you, I saw this idea from a fellow demonstrator on the, on which we have is called the Demonstrator Planning Place. It is, there's like, I think 35,000 demonstrators on it from across the globe and the inspiration on there daily is, blows my mind. So what I did was I actually created a sheet that shares what you can do with this stamp set and die. So this shows you the stamps and then what it creates. Here's the little pansies and what it creates. Here's the leaf stamps. So my brown, which is the crumb cake here images, is actually representing the die in the die collection. So if I was to bring this up, it's that one. And then it shows you what you can do. So using all those images, you're gonna to use to create this pansy. And I think I'm gonna just pull that up a little bit to create this pansy. And then these are the leaf dies that you would use to create these two leaves. Maybe I'll go like this. So then I come back and I can show you that I used these to create this. Now here's the neat thing. Our designer series paper, remember I told you this die cuts out that designer series paper and this one cuts out that paper and then the leaves actually cut out the leaves in the designer series paper. I read on the demonstrator planning place that someone said they got almost 30 flowers from one designer series paper. So there's two in a pack that's almost 60 flowers for you. So I just wanted to share those fun resources with you. I will be taking pictures and posting them on my blog and my social media, but it's just a good reference tool to have to see what you can actually do with a stamp set. Because honestly, when I sat down, I was like, how do I even stamp these images? So let's get started. I'm going to bring in my mat and my thing. Okay, so the first thing you needed was your cardstock, and I'm just going to move my thing out of the way here. So um, it was four and a quarter by nine, and I scored it at four and a four and a quarter. And you're just going to fold it. I am using the soft succulent design paper cardstock. I mean, then you had a piece that looked like this, and it measured two by eight and a half. And what I did was I scored it at two and one eighths on one side, and then I flipped it and scored it at two and an eight on another side. So the, we're just gonna put that aside. We're just gonna put those there for a minute. And then I had two pieces. Where'd my other piece go? Somewhere in here. 
Oh, there it is. I had two pieces of designer series paper that measured one and seven eighths by one and three quarters. So what you're gonna do is you're actually going to take this piece here. We're gonna to start to build our card. This is a fancy fold and I will tell you the name of it when we're done. So you're gonna take this paper and you're just going to line it up and put it on the back side. So I'm putting it on the back of my card down. So when it folds in, it'll look like that and it comes down like this. Then I'm going to take these DSPs and I'm going to, I hear them right here. This paper has the solid patterns on the front, which are very vibrant. And then on the back, they have a lot of this buffalo check. And this buffalo check, I just wanna move my camera down. I feel like I'm not in the view. So just let me know if the view is good. I think I might just need to move myself up a bit. Okay, so let me know if that's better. Um, okay, so then this, so one side has the pattern and then the other side has the buffalo check, which is really nice. So then we have this big piece that's three and a quarter by four, and we're actually going to um, adhere this down. And you wanna make sure that your pansies are looking at you the right way. And we're going to adhere this down here. And we're just going to leave that like that for a minute, and I'm going to pull this over. I told you you needed a piece of, st uh, of um, a die cut. I used the stitch so sweetly, which I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna set that there. And I'm actually just gonna tuck this over here for a minute. And I'm going to bring in my image just so you can see so what I'm going to do. So let me just bring in a piece of paper as a scrap and I'm gonna bring in my white. Okay, so here's the thing. I want my image to go on here, so I wanna make sure that my my white is going in a portrait, portrait view. So then, what I'm going to do is, let me just move some things out of my way, bring in some inks. So I am using the Evening Evergreen, which is, um, one of the new in colors and free fresh freesia, which is one of the other in colors, along with blackberry and mango melanie, and I'm also using black. So the first thing I want to do is I want to stamp my greeting because I want to make sure that I have enough space for my project. So I am using the greeting that says. And I'm gonna show you why I, this group, I really like this. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Oh, put that over here. So I'm going to show you the one, this greeting, and it says it's the little things you do that makes us such a big difference. So there you go. As you can see, this font is really, I'll hold it up. I love how there's like some solid words, but then a little bit of the script. Um, it's really kind of cool. Let me just maybe pop that up a little bit. Uh, I think I'm just too far. Anyways, I'm just going to move that up for now. So that's what it looks like. Really cool. All right, so now we're going to build our pansy. So to build your pansy, let me just grab what I need. You need this one here. You need this one here. You need this one, and you need this one, and you need this one. So you need five, I'm just gonna move myself back a little bit. I just wanna make sure I'm in the view. Let me know if you guys can still see me. So I think I'm good. Okay, so let me um, move that across. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna move all these and we're gonna stamp our flowers. So this is the first one we need. And I'm going to do that in the new Fresh Freesia color. Okay, so I'm stamping it and I'm gonna actually stamp off because I want it as a lighter tone and I'm just gonna put it down like that. Then I'm gonna close that up. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave it open if I need it. I'm going to come in with the Blackberry Bliss and I'm using the image that looks like this. And I'm going 
to, oops, wrong one. I'm just going to overlap it so it'll look like that. So we're going to close that up because I don't need that one anymore. Let me just look at my sample. Yes. Okay. So then I'm going to come back in with the Fresh Freesia. And I'm using the one that looks like this. And I'm going to just put it in there because I want it to be a soft tone. And I'm going to close that up. And then I'm going to come in with my black. And it looks like this. And I put my black away so I don't stick my finger in it. And then I'm going to come in with my mango. So just like that little center of the piece. And I'm just going to twist it. And it's going to go right there. So that's Mango Melody. So there is my pansy. So basically how I showed you here was how I stamped it. The only thing I did was I stamped off on the first one to give it a softer tone. And then that is what your pansy looks like when you're done. Just leave it there for a minute. So you can see how we created those, the guide to show us it will look like this when we are done. All right, so let me just move that out of the way and I'm just gonna do my stamp set. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our label and we are going to adhere this down and I'm going to grab a white. Now, I sometimes don't stamp um, my insides because sometimes I wait to see who I'm going to give it to. So I'm gonna bring my card back and we're going to just put this down like this. And we're gonna fold that like that. So now our card looks like this. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it up here. Now the only thing is you do not want to put tape all the way down. I'm only going to put adhesive on the top. So I'm actually going to use some pop-ups. Hello to everyone that is joining me. Um, let me just back here. Make sure I, okay, so I'm just going to make sure this is up at the top, this up here in the center, so it'll look like that. So what I actually created was a double Dutch door fancy fold. But we're not done yet. I have one more thing to do. I'm going to share with you the new open weave ribbon. So this is the new evergreen ribbon. This color is going to be gorgeous for Christmas. I cannot wait to create some Christmas cards with this. I know we haven't even had spring yet and I'm thinking Christmas, but I just saw this ribbon and I was like, that would be the perfect Christmas color. So what we're gonna do is just gonna open this up and we're just gonna lay it flat and I'm just gonna bring it over bring in my scissors make sure I have a good piece of ribbon okay so then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just fold this and then I'm going to just tie my bow this is when you wish you had multiple pinions Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually just trim it off. And I'm just gonna pull, I don't want my bow as big, I don't think. So it's just a matter of playing with it to make sure you find the size that you like for your bow and that you're happy with it. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that. I'm just gonna move it over. Now, what I did do on my sample was I actually brought in a little glue dot just to kind of stick underneath the ribbon and hold it in place. 
And there you go. There is your double dutch fancy fold card for our mystery stamping tonight. What did you guys think? I would love to know. Tell me, do you like this project? I think I see. I'll leave it just a few minutes. So there is the one that I made tonight with you. And I will show you. Here is the sample I made. So there's the one I made on the weekend. Just showing you. So of course you know I like to do an alternative card. And I wanted to show you what you can do in a different way. So this is showcasing the new prod product. But then this is showcasing some product that is leaving mixed with the new. So this is the um, Free Freesia color mixed with the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper. I paired it with Blackberry Bliss and then I used the new Fresh Freesia, Fresh Freesia ribbon. So there is your other card showcasing a fun birthday. So there you go. There is your mystery night stamping for our Monday night, which is number 19. Can you believe it? I can't believe we've been doing this for 19 weeks. So I want to know, what did you think? Did you guys like this um, Dutch fold? Have you done it before? Have you seen it before? Let me know. I'm just going to... Oh, thanks, Andre. I'm so glad you liked it. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I'll give it a few minutes so I know there's a bit of a delay. Will the card stand up? Good question. Um, our, there you go, Leslie. Yes, it will stand up. There is three cards standing up for you. So it does stand up and it will fit in a regular envelope. Um, when I first was looking for this on Pinterest, they had a couple measurements, different sizes, but I really wanted to make sure that it fit in a regular envelope so that you could mail it easily. So it will fit in a regular envelope. Any other questions before I log off? So I can't wait to hear what you guys think of my project. This, as I said, this stamp set is beautiful. The paper is gorgeous. Um, I, like I said, I had to stop playing with it because I was creating so many pansies and the color combinations is so much fun. So yes, I cannot wait to share more of this pansy petal suite with you in the next few weeks and coming months. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a great rest of your week or rest of your night and a great week. And we will see you back here next Monday for another fun crafting session. Bye everyone. Have a great night.